Isn't it pretty? The soap was not planned, but I had a couple leftover orange pumpkins and the little swirly vines. Like when I say a couple, maybe eight and maybe 16 of the vines. So obviously not nearly enough to cover a batch, but I was like, oh, I'll make a few more and I'll make another batch and put them on top. And well, a few more turned into pumpkins, pine cones, leaves, tiny pumpkins, sunflowers, and let's cover the whole top. It was a lot of work making all of these embeds for the top. The inside is just a drop hanger swirl, but I love the top. Like, it's just so pretty. So, no, I'm like, I almost don't want to cut it. But I tried to set this up so that I had a full pumpkin on every bar. And all sorts of fun stuff in between. So, let's go ahead and cut this. Isn't that cool? I love the top. I just think it's so fall. And there's my drop hanger swirl on the inside. So this is pumpkin eggnog from Nature's Garden, which is probably my all-time favorite pumpkin smell. Um, I just love it. But it does discolor dark brown. So the white has no fragrance. The green and orange has little and the brown has has more. Um, so I'm hoping that it won't um, discolor too awfully in, when everything kind of sets in. That will still retain some of that orange and green and the white will probably seep, the edges will probably get a little brown because it'll seep in from around but still I just really I, I love this top it is just it's so fall <laughs> like it just screams fall to me And the swirls are different in every bar, which is always fun. Some have more, some have less. I love the wispiness. The leaves, the pumpkins, the pine cone. It's just so cute. There you have it. Let me know what you think.